Let's move on to main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Sam Simpson, who writes, Hey, John, I was a huge fan of this year's The Invisible Man. Me too, man. I thought that movie was great. And I was wondering if you had heard about the new Wolfman movie that Ryan Gosling pitched to Universal that would be in the same vein as the movie Nightcrawler. If so, what do you think of this news and who would you like to see direct? Thanks and keep up the good work. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, a couple of days ago, it got announced that Ryan Gosling not just was going to be in a Wolfman thing, but he actually is the one who pitched the story. He pitched the idea of doing the movie. This comes to us from the folks uh, over at Deadline who wrote, according to Variety, a Gosling pitched the new take on the Harry Supernatural Troublemaker, which has been turned into a script by Lauren Shuker Blum. And if you're wondering, huh, any relation to Jason Blum? As a matter of fact, yes, it's his wife. Mm. Um, by Lauren Shuker Blum and Rebecca uh, and Angelo. Details are scarce, but it's described as a present day story along the lines of Nightcrawler with a wolfy twist. The next step for the studio on the development road is finding a director, and while there are no frontrunners yet, Universal has been busy meeting filmmakers, and that Thoroughbreds and Bad Educations, I like both those movies, particularly Bad Education, which I just watched not, not long ago, Corey Finley is among those in serious contention. All right. So, listen, the first thing that we, we got to address here is Ryan Gosling playing in a Wolfman movie. How does Ryan Gosling think, of, first of all, how does Ryan Gosling think of the idea of a Wolfman movie and go and pitch a Wolfman movie? That seems odd to me, but whatever. He must have a great idea. He must be really excited about it. The first thing you mentioned was the whole idea of Universal's, they did The Invisible Man. And they did a fabulous, fabulous job on that movie. And they did that movie for $7 million. Pay attention, Marty Scorsese, wanting $200 million to make a period drama. Uh -huh. They did The Invisible Man for $7 million is what they made that movie for. I'm going to guess they probably give it a little bit of a bump when it comes to something like Wolfman. That might need a little bit more. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, does this mean that we're going to see it, that Universal is now going to resurrect their idea of a shared monster universe? From everything I've been reading, and anything is possible, but from everything that I've been reading, the answer to that is no. Universal is kind of pulling the Warner Brothers thing about with the way they're handling DC. No more shared universe. We're just kind of focusing on individual films. That seems to be Universal's approach right now, and it's working real well. I mean, if, if Invisible Man is any indication, it's working tremendously well. So I think that's a step in the right direction. Ryan Gosling, of course, is a good Canadian kid. So I like that very much. Uh, and plus, I just think he's a tremendous actor as well. So that's wonderful too. So I got to tell you, I don't know how excited I am about this, Aaron, if it wasn't for the fact that I saw Invisible Man. Mm. If, if, I, if I just heard this without Invisible Man being a real thing, I just go, really? Wolfman? Mm. With Ryan Gosling, who mm. I like. Good Canadian kid, but really? But after... Having that Invisible Man movie in my life and knowing what a great job they did on that with low budget, tight story, thrill ride of the thing. If they can bring that now into Wolfman, I think it's exciting. Anyway, you hear about this. What are your thoughts? When I hear the name Ryan Gosling, I'm in. And it's not and it's not because he is one of the most attractive human beings that lives on the planet um, and has really Canadian great, trait. funny means. Just Canadian trait. Just I mean, as there. all Canadian <laughs> men are and Canadian women. Um, no, I the first movie that I ever saw Ryan Gosling in was The Believer. And oh, wow. I had no idea who he was. I don't even know how it was on my radar. Like it, 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 it was not when I was really interested in watching um independent films at the time. It just somehow it got on my radar. I watched the film and I said, I have no idea who this kid is, but he is brilliant and he is going to be a massive star. And he, one of the things that I love about Ryan Gosling is um, whether it's Lars and the Real Girl, which is such a so, character piece. So good. I love that movie. Like such a character piece for a quote, pretty boy like Ryan Gosling to do. Um, to crazy sexy love where you know he he's playing real savvy crazy, stupid love crazy stupid love yes. what did i say crazy, crazy sexy uh, love yeah but it's very sexy yeah um you know what i love about ryan gosling as an actor is that not only does he consistently give a beautiful and 
grounded and truthful performance. He also has really great taste in his projects. I've never seen a project that he's done where I've been like, Ryan Gosling is good, but the movie, I don't know. Like, I've always been like, wow, Ryan Gosling really nailed it. And what a great film, Gangster too. Gangster Squad. That was terrible. I didn't see that. You're, no, you're, you're good. You're okay. Good. Okay. So everybody, movie. everybody, you know, you know, Every model farts on a catwalk once in a while. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't know where that just came from, but I'm I'm really excited about this. The fact that he was the one who pitched it also gives me an added uh, level of excitement because he's clearly invested in it. It's not something that he's doing for a paycheck. It's not mm. something that he's being talked into. He's not just like jumping on the you know superhero uh, uh, um, supernatural supernatural bandwagon. Um, it's something that clearly he has you know inside of him that he's excited about. And I think that when there's a passion for it that resonates and you can really feel that when you watch the movie so i'm i'm pretty excited about this question here is guys what do you think about again if it wasn't for invisible man i would probably look at this and go eh. but because i saw that i'm kind of stoked about this i think this could be really fun question is guys what do you guys think about it jump on down to the comments section below and leave us your thoughts all right